Today I'm here with Carpenter, Mr. Bruce Conroy. Thank you so much for coming. But what was your first job and how old were you? Uh, I did hardwood floors. I installed and sanded hardwood floors. I was 16 years old. And how did you get that first job? I, um, I decided that I was too smart for school, so I quit. And my dad decided I wasn't too smart to go to work. So oh. I went to work the next day. Okay. So were there transportation issues at all? No, no. My father picked me up every day to make sure I went to work. <laughs> <laughs> and was it what you expected? Yeah, it was hard. It was it was what I expected. Um, he had done he had done it his whole as long as I could remember. That's what he did. And what was the most memorable experience? On that job or any job? For that job. For that job, it was just working with my family, my brother and my father. That was it. It was um, it was a great place to learn how to work. So, have you always wanted to work on flooring? I always wanted to do what my father did, yeah. <laughs> I did. Always. What lessons did you learn? I gotta say, all I learned was that no matter what you do, you have to work hard and work smart. You have to think. Did your f first job influence your future work experience? Um, it did, actually. A lot. Working with my father and my brother taught me how to work, how to work efficiently. It carried right over into local 24 Union Carpenters. Right. And if you could describe your first job in one word, what would that word be? Hard. I think I said that, yeah. It was hard. Yeah. It was hard work. And it was hard, but if you could do it over again, would you? Oh, yeah. In a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I could not think of doing anything else. And do you have any success tips for the future generations getting their first jobs? Um, no matter what, just try it. Try it. No matter if you, if you, want, if you, if you think it might be a, a good thing to do, just do it. It can't hurt. What are you gonna do? Try it for a little while. If you don't like it, try something else. Because um, we never know. Be don't be meek. Right. Whatever you do, attack it. <laughs> so once again, I have Mr. Bruce Conroy, and thank you so much for coming in. Thanks.